what is Roblox? Roblox is a massive multiplayer online game wherein players can build and create games by using bricks, which is similar to Lego. Right now, I'm playing a game called Natural Disaster Survival, created by Stick Master Lu, a player who used Lua scripting to make this game playable. There are other games created by other players to play as well, but I chose this one because it looked interesting. As the game's name suggests, the objective is to survive a natural disaster to earn points and buy upgrades. The map chosen for this round is the farm ranch and players are transported to the area. We now have one minute to choose the best possible spot to survive the next disaster. Oh, and you can also chat with other players in the game as well, and sometimes you can find weird things in the chat box. Very weird things. Newton's Force Law of Motion Galileo concluded that once an object starts moving, it will continue moving at a constant velocity if there is no friction present. Galileo used the concept of inertia to help explain his conclusion. Inertia is a property of matter that causes it to resist changes in motion. It is now called Newton's first law of motion. The law states that if the net external force of an object is zero, the object will remain at rest or continue to move at a constant velocity. This box is at rest. Its force of gravity is equal to the normal force and therefore has a net force of zero and has a balanced force. If the force of gravity happens to be larger than the normal force, then the box will sink into the ground. Here we see a sliding box on an extremely smooth surface. The normal force and the force of gravity cancel out to give a net force of zero in the vertical direction, but there is still a force acting on it in the horizontal direction, which makes it unbalanced. Since no external force acts in the horizontal direction, or friction, it will continue to move on and on and on and on, unless something blocks it, like this block of wood for example. Newton's Second Law of Motion Newton's law suggests that if the net external force on an object is not zero, the object will accelerate in the direction of this net force. The magnitude of this acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Here we can see two players who are about to push their individual boxes. The first player is on the left while the second player is on the right. The first player has a larger box than the second player. They will both push it at the same time and both players will exert the same applied force on the boxes. We can see that the second player is moving faster than the first player. Obviously the second player would be faster because the box's mass is smaller. If I were to increase the box's size, then the player won't be able to move it at all because it's too big. Last but not least, Newton's third law of motion. For every action force, there is a simultaneous reaction force that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. An example of this law is when the ball bounces off the wall. You can see the ball coming down the steep ramp and exerts an action force towards the wall. The reaction force is when the wall causes the ball to bounce back. The reaction is in the opposite direction of the action. Thanks for watching.